This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2016. I'm at the Immersion Varelia booth. To my immediate right is Manuel Gutierrez, CEO of Immersion Varelia. Welcome back, Manuel. Thank you, thank you, Neil. How are you? Very good, very good. So each year we get uh, closer and closer and closer to the, the availability of, of VR for the consumer. Right. So, so tell us what you've got you've got here for from Immersion Varelia. Sure, excellent. Well, uh, I'm proud to announce that uh, we have been shipping worldwide uh, since last year. So we're shipping to Australia, we're shipping to Italy, France, Europe, every place in Europe, Asia, South America, United States, and Canada. So um, the, the product we're shipping is this, the Go, you know, the unit, the Go. Uh, it comes with the controller, so you can actually, you know, uh, maneuver around the virtual environments. And um, yeah. well, let's talk. Let's talk about the the Go itself. So let's let's hold it up here. So uh, what are we looking at here? Well, this is the Go unit, uh, and it's um, hold it up here. Hold yeah, it up sure. a little higher. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the Go unit, and what we have is the possibility to uh, use any smartphone, not only one brand, but any brand clearly. And we do that and achieve that by uh, replacing the face plates here to hold the phones. So you just replace the the, the face plate for the ones that you have and then it adopts. And, but the most important feature is not about holding the phones, it's about the fact that you can personalize your dioptrics and the separation between your eyes, because we all are different. So you need, you need to have the possibility to adapt the, the device, especially if you're gonna be using it for a longer time of period, you know, a period of time where um, comfort is important and you don't wanna have any kind of eye stress or anything. So our patented system allows you to uh, adjust the focus and the IPD. So, so for an individual like myself, I wear glasses. I, I, know, I don't have to wear glasses with this, I take it. Correct, you don't have to wear glasses. You adjust the dioptrics uh, manually in the unit. And then that um, when you find we have a test pattern and everything, so you launch pretty much like a, when you go to the optometrist and you get a prescription, uh, the same thing runs on the system. And once it's set, then you can keep using it forever without the glasses. Wonderful. Now there's all kinds of smartphones on the market. You know, I, I know I'm hearing, oh, any, plug anything in there, um, but they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Uh, are there any limits as to what could be plugged in, and do you do any special arrangements for specific phones? Okay, that's a very good question. Uh, there are many phones that are that have the possibility to run with the processing power they have uh, for uh, virtual reality. Now, clearly, we have different phones of different types, and what we did in our SDK is that the SDK allows you to dynamically adjust based on the platform where it's running. So at the beginning of the uh, launch of the application, we test and we identify the platform where it's running, kind of like a, like a benchmark table. And based on that, we managed the number of polygons and the resolution of the textures. Uh, and therefore, we, you will always get a very nice, good experience, a smooth experience. And at the same time, uh, if you have a, pro a high processing power phone, it will just you know, get the best out of it. Uh, and the experience is always you know, stable for the user. So you're doing some, some work to make it work on the software side. On the hardware side, how do you handle like odd-sized phones? I mean, is there uh, any customization there? Yeah, well, we have uh, these plates that uh, easily can be changed and exchanged for the different phones. And when people is ordering uh, their phone, they will let us know actually what, what type of, of phone they're using. But what I'm going to end up doing, I'm probably going to be including all, all the major brands and phones. And if they have a specific one, we can even provide the STL files for them to print it by themselves. Uh, or we can just print it and ship it by mail. And, um, and therefore, you know that your phone is always in the perfect vertical and horizontal alignment. What a world we live in, that people could literally print what they need to plug into the phone. I think you just supply the software and, and they, right. they print it off. Exactly, that's right, that's right. Now, yeah. What about software compatibility? I mean, you've got your, you know, Immersion Vario has their own SDK. Are there other options available for content? Yes, we have a platform. Uh, it's called the Alter Space. So in the Alter Space, well, it, it's, a, it's a product and a, and a concept that we have been using first since uh, 2007, I guess, but that was more for military purposes. We used it with the Navy and for training systems in the Pentagon. Uh, it was kind of a closed system. And what happens in the Alter Space is that you have available a different set of content, media, games, uh, education, training, uh, entertainment, uh, videos of every kind, photographs of every kind. So what we did in the other piece, it's, it's, it's a media, uh, it's a new platform where all the media converges. And in this case, the, um, 
the alter space allows you to get all this information on the cloud and the user just wears the, 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 the head mounted display, jump into the alter space, that's what we call it, and then you, you have available for you a lot of experiences. Uh, you select them, you can just walk into the experience, you can see some three-dimensional objects that are right there working with you, um, and it's only not for entertainment, but it's also for work and education, so that's where we're focusing more uh, in the education side, and, and uh, that's a great tool for, for deploying environments. Now when now, when people order this, they're going to want content right away. They're not going to want to wait around. C can you name some titles or some products that are going to be working right out of the box? Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, uh, besides our alter space and the content that has been created with our SDK, pretty much all the Google Cardboard applications are compatible. So, meaning that whatever inventory is out there for Google Cardboard is fully compatible to the system. So right there you open the box and you have thousands of, of titles available for you. The same happens with the video uh, available on YouTube for 3D video if you have a phone and you want to see a VR Experience 360, all that experiences are already right there. Now uh, they work, they are fine, it's good, but what we want to do with the Alter Space is consolidate all these experiences under one roof. So it makes sense for the user to have everything available and just pick whatever they want to see, work, play, or interact. And that's the Alter Space. Okay, very good, very good. Now we've been talking about the display. Oh, a quick, quick spec for you. I know you're using different phones, which means it could be different resolutions. Is there a range of field of view that people could expect out of this device? Well, I have uh, good news for all our uh, customers and all the people has been placing, we receive pre-orders every single day. And I have good news, we're actually moving up to a new optic uh, where we're providing a 130 degree field of view uh, for all the platforms and all the units that we have, the Go, the Pro, the U1, and the Blue Sky Pro. It's not here though, yes? Or not here yet? <laughs> I can probably show you off cameras, uh, the prototype working, yes. Okay, sounds like a plan. So, um, but the other thing, is, separate from the visuals, is you've got a controller here as well. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Well, what happens is this. For virtual you can hold it up, please. So, yeah, yeah. For virtual reality experiences, um, you're not always sitting on a, on a chair that you know, turns around 360. And, and the thing about uh, ex experiencing 360 ex uh, you know, videos or environments is that, well, you can always look around, but you're not always in a space where you can actually you know, turn and stand up and stuff like that. So you're sitting down and you want to explore an experience or you want to look at a video. Well, we provide with this uh, controller that allows you to do pretty much everything that you do for interaction. It's like a game path. We've been uh, bundling this since last year. Uh, Viaplay is our key partner. Uh, they created this special edition version for us of the of the gamepad, and this allows you full interaction inside the environment. So it's not only um, uh, for position or, or you know moving around the environment, but it's also for every kind of game control. It's fully compatible uh, with the standard gamepad uh, controllers for for uh, human uh, devices. You know that, that that you use for for any game. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so you know what. You're, you're the one who typed it. Can you tell us a little bit about this gizmo here? Okay. Come on. Hold, hold it up so they can see. So I want to present you here the Pro DG1. Um, and this is the latest version of our system. Um, this is a self-contained system. It's not using a smartphone. It has its own sensors and screens. And what we have now is what we promised uh, many months ago to have a device that will, uh, will provide you with a 130 degree field of view. We have full HD per eye, and we're moving to 2K per eye as well uh, for some customers that are requesting that specific resolution. Um, we have our own sensors that are military grade sensors. Uh, we are. Are they armed? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they are um, military grade and, and, and the, you know how important is latency time uh, for this. We have to uh, be very careful about that. Everybody in the industry has to be very careful about that. So we decided to take an approach that allows us and the user to get a, a very natural experience without any side effects uh, with the vestibular system. So uh, in this one we are putting everything together. But the most important part about the Pro DG1, as you can see here, is this couple of stereo cameras. And this is part of... Hold it up one more time, actually. Hmm? Sure. So uh, this is part of the work that I did many years ago for the military in T-Division. 
So we've made many projects uh, in, in our uh, company. Uh, as you know, T-Division is the inventor of the 3D Blu-ray standard um, that I invented and, and we managed that. So now what we did is we took all the intellectual property of, of T-Division and we are now the industry is waking up to all these things. We're bringing that IP into the applications of the market. One of them being what we call the GREM, the Gesture Recognition and Environment Mapping. So out of the military project, we were actually doing a project that, called, that it's called uh, See and Avoid. That was back in 2007. Now everybody's is, you know, knowledgeable about the drones and the way they fly by themselves. That, that, that's where it came from, the whole See and Avoid process. So we're using cameras to identify the environment and also the cameras to identify the gestures. So instead of having lasers pointing at us or cameras looking at us, we have a self-contained set of cameras that are analyzing in real time the entire scenery that is captured by the two cameras. And that uh, uh, processes the information, the geometry of each one of the uh, objects located and identified in the scene, and it provides with the equivalent of a depth map or a C buffer for each one of the pixels. So we recreate, it's kind of like, uh, like all these sensors for positional three-dimensional tracking. But instead of having it in front of us, we have it inside the same unit. This allows me to control any kind of gesture, and we're using a neural network, and I think I mentioned that probably a year and a half ago. Eileen. Uh, Eileen, exactly. It's part of the of the neural network that we're using for artificial intelligence. Uh, that that's how we train the system to recognize the gestures, and we you can even program your own gestures. It's not like we pre-program them, but you can just say, oh, like this, I want to be a photograph, or this, I want to be zoom in, zoom out. You determine your own gestures, and then you program them from then on whatever you do is going to be recognized as that pattern and it's trained, self-trained and just back propagation to learn more about the, the way you do the, your gestures. So it, it's very accurate. And um, with all these things, what happens is we have a system where you can see your own hands, you don't need to use any globes, you don't need to use any external cameras or any lasers and the environment mapping allows me to get the position of tracking in a very accurate manner because I'm looking at the surroundings of me. And that allows me to get a positional tracking um, and everything into this GREM initiative from T Division. Okay, very good. We put that into the Prodigy 1 of Immersion Brelia, and now we have you know, this platform that is self-contained that allows you to do all these things. Okay, wonderful. So uh, before we finish up, just some quick questions about the Go. How could people get their hands on it? Well, go to our website. Uh, that's how we've been selling worldwide. You go to our website, you go to the Go, and then you say buy now. And uh, we are uh, oversold of the units. We uh, ran out of the first batch of units. We're starting production of the next batch, batch of units. And actually, we're starting uh, production in three different parts of the world now. When do you anticipate people to start receiving the units? Well, some people have been receiving the units already. Uh, the first batch was fully deployed. Um, for this uh, second batch, we're targeting from four to five weeks. I think it's going to be before, but I don't want to highlight the expectations uh, for, for the new buyers uh, or the new orders. So uh, we're giving a safe margin there uh, to receive the units. Sounds good. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Manuel. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Neil. Thank you so much. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS-TV at CES 2016. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching.